115. The man lived 100 years, 1875-1975. And the woman, 1885. Till now she's alive, the wife. She can't be still alive. Wow, come on. I, I, as I told you, Nagorno Karabakh occupied the first place in form of Soviet Union by number of people aging 100 and more years old. First, first place in form of Soviet Union. Do you seriously think that the, 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 the wife the wife could still be alive? She would, she would nearly be 120 yeah, years old. Yeah, yeah. But you think she could be alive? Yeah, yeah. People from all over Nagorno Karabakh are buried here. So even if she was alive, she could be anywhere. The Karabakh army agreed to take us to see their front line with Azerbaijan. There was destruction everywhere. Hundreds of homes owned by Azeris lie in ruins. We weren't allowed to tour these villages, but filmed them as we went past. We arrived at trenches opposite Azerbaijan army positions, like those we'd been in many days earlier. This is the start of the trench. These trenches are much more professionally made than once we saw elsewhere. There's points all along here where you can take bricks out of the wall and then see what's happening on the other side. I've just pulled quite a large stone out. And I've just realized I've left quite a large gap here, but I think we're at a distance in which it would be quite hard for a sniper to get us. Actually, maybe it wouldn't. Maybe I'm not gonna take the risk. I'll pop it back like that. The bunkers are manned round the clock by young conscripts watching the opposing trenches. Their officers told us they expect an Azeri attack at any time. They're, what, 150, 200 metres away, maybe? But you can clearly see trenches, fortifications. You can see a little bit of movement as well. How old are you? 20. 20, and how old are you? 18. 18. Do you ever see any Azeri soldiers moving around on the other side? We can see them moving, but we can't tell how old they are. It's too far away. You can see here, there's a little calendar that's been screwed up on as graffiti by one of the soldiers who's serving, started serving in 2003 and is serving till 2005. Yeah. And they're halfway through now, they're colouring in as they go. It's taken us many days to get from the Azeri side of this border all the way around to the Karabakh side. And on the way we've heard so many stories from people about how they've suffered and what happened to them during the conflict. And you are left feeling that there's no natural end to this conflict. It feels as if it could go on for many years to come. We left the front line and returned to the capital for the wedding. But when we arrived to give our carpet, things weren't going to plan. Electricity's failed, so they've got candles on the tables. We can see there's scores of people here. I don't know how they're going to have the wedding by candlelight. Imagine how the bride and the groom must be feeling. Their biggest, the biggest day of their lives. Oh, thank goodness. When the lights went on, it was seen as a good omen for Marine, the bride, and Alexander, her groom. But few are optimistic about the future of their country. Nagorno-Karabakh says it wants to remain independent, but Azerbaijan has vowed to take it back. Neither side looks ready to compromise. <laughs>